Hello, my name is Phoenix, and this is the second episode of a series where I show you houses that ranges from small to bigger to the biggest house, all within the same house style, but three different styles in one video. Let's conveniently start out with this very little jungle house. This is a very typical jungle house and instead of blocks, the main structure are just built up by a spruce trapdoor. To make it don't look too small for a roof, I had some pillars as well. It also has a straw roof that is kind of typical for the jungle house. It's built out of spruce wood and jungle wood. I think that is a great block combination of this type of house. But shall we go inside to look what this is a kind of house? As you can see, this house is so small that you can barely have anything inside it. So I have a trapdoor here and then you can walk down to the basement. You kind of have to or else you will just fit a chest. So it would be a chest house instead. That's okay, but you might want to have a bed. And then you can just close the door. Then you are hidden for anyone. No one can see you. That's great, isn't it? So this house is kind of for show. It's because it looks so cute and it's so small. The roof is actually huge in comparison to the main house. Even if the roof is so big, it kind of looks right. I think I forgot to show you that it's also a chest in the roof. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The door. Oh no. The door. Hello. The door. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to the bigger one. The bigger version of this house. Who is right here? It's also kind of small and cute. This is a tree by tree house. That means that the trap doors are on the outer part of the platform. It can fit three blocks inside. And that's kind of important. If you have them inside, you actually only have the room for one block. And you cannot even fit a bed inside. All of the jungle houses is surrounded by pillars. And that's kind of what they are in real life as well. It has a lot of things that sticks down from the roof everywhere. And I really like the way it frames the house. But let's look inside of this house. And I actually want to walk and walk up this ladder. Yeah. And close the gate. Here you are. A cute little house with actually a lot of space. It's the bed there. And it's trapdoor all over the floor. It's a crafting table and there's two furnaces. And then you can go up to the second floor. And that's the great thing because here you actually have a lot of storage. You have six barrels there and five barrels there. You get a lamp in the roof and you have also have a little space just to hang around if you want to. But let's move on to the next and the bigger house. It's quite similar. The only difference between this one and the other one is that this is bigger. This house has a more, some more decorations than the other one. It's the bamboos that looks great. That was a great addition to the game with the bamboo. When the house is so similar, I need to add something more so you can see the difference. So here is the inside of this house and I kind of almost almost like the inside of the house better than the outside. Not because I don't like the outside, but I just think it's so cozy in here. And it kind of looks like a genuine jungle house. It's a hammock over there. As in the last episode, this is also a jungle house, it's just a different style. I don't know if you saw the last episode, but there I also made a hammock inside a house. And it kind of gives out the casual look to the house with the barrels just hanging, laying around in the corner. And then there's a hidden ladder. Not really hidden, but it's there. And it's kind of hidden. And here you have it. You have a lot of storage up here. A lot of barrels. If you want to, this room can actually fit regular chests. If you want double chests, or you can have barrels. It's just a matter of taste. And of course, crafting table and anvil. That's really important stuff. You gotta have them. But let's move on, because we need to visit the bigger house. This one actually got four different sizes, so let's go. So let's look at the biggest version of the jungle house. As you can see, this has a lot more details, expandations. To make it look and feel bigger, I rather want to expand it than make it just bigger and wider, so it looks overdimensional. 
I rather want to expand it with more builds, more small builds, as the one you can see on the side right here. It's kind of a replica of the first house that I showed you. I mean the second house, because the first one was really small. And then just expand with some parts that are integrated to the house, kind of. So, except for that, you can see there's a lot of trees surrounding it. It's some destructed stairs around here that needs a renovation. Because it's out in the jungle, it's made by hand, so I wanted to make it feel like it too. There are ladders on the side that you can use to get up to this platform and then to go inside the house. And this house actually have a proper kitchen with a lot of barrels that looks like shelves and a furnace with the ventilation over there and then there's a bedroom inside there it's kind of hidden by that half wall but it's not really hidden and then green carpet to make it cozy and homely in here and of course there's a ladder up to the section where I actually decided to have chests instead of barrels because i talked about that with the other house this has almost the same storage it's a little bit bigger than the other one but it's not a big difference with that said it actually looks a little bit better than the barrels actually in this type of loft and there's a crafting table there and nice roof i think kind of nice but let's go outside because I have another another type of house to show you that are not a jungle house but a quite a different type of house. The Chinese house. This is supposed to be a typical Chinese house. To me this is one of the favorite ones and I really like that style. Unfortunately Minecraft doesn't have red wooden blocks. But I kind of like the acacia wood in this context, after all, a lot of details only being a one by one house, it has a flower bed, who is inspired by the cherry blossom trees, colors, it's a kind of rounded roof, squarey rounded at the same time, that's typical of uh, Chinese roofs, and that's why it's kind of hard to achieve the great shape of a Chinese house, at least in Minecraft. Of course, this is such a small house and things get a little bit harder. But now that we have seen the house, let's go inside and go up this little cute stair. As you can see, this house has some limits because there are no way I can fit a bed in here. You see, the whole house is on stakes and it's impossible to fit a bed in there. But that doesn't mean that this house is meaningless because it's kind of a storage house. You have the barrel on the ground here and then you have four more barrels in the roof section and you have a lamp up there. So you have the ability to store some things but if you want to sleep, you just need to walk out the door and go down the stair and go on the ground. That's the way it is. Oh, this is a way that you can do it, if you really want to have a small, cute little Chinese house. So, let's go and see the bigger house, who maybe is a little bit more livable. Yeah, here it is. The roof is more defined in this one and it also has a top section that is often to find in Chinese houses. Sometimes they build it up and up and up more and more sections and smaller and smaller and that's really cute. As you can see on the side there, I have some painting. It's kind of to illustrate a Chinese sign. You know, sometimes Chinese houses have signs and I kind of get a vibe from the painting. But let's... Take a look inside and go up this stair and in the door and right into the kitchen. It's some furnaces, it's some barrels and a cauldron with water. Yeah, it's nothing special. It's not really a design in here, it's just casual. Just to show you, you can have a storage area here with double chest and then you can sleep in here. So you have a bedroom and a storage combined. So yeah, anyways, but let's go outside because it's more to look at from the outside than the inside. But anyways, let's move on to the bigger house. There it is. Somehow you can feel like, oh, this is the same house. 
but it's really not exactly the same. You have two houses that are similar next to each other with a middle section and it also have, has kind of a sand garden surrounding it. I have a lot of acacia trees, but let's go inside the house because this house is a little bit different. For some reason there is a hole there that's not supposed to be there. But anyways, this has no kitchen, but it has uh, this part that I actually really like. This middle part here that goes to the bedroom. That is a really wide bed and of course I need three beds because I am the type of person that sleeps in a circle. So I actually need two beds for myself and the other person sleep on the left side over there and that's the way it is. Up here there is a roof section that is actually quite cool. I think it looks good. You could have kind of a launcher or just a secret way to get up here. You can have a storage there if you want to have that. You can do a lot of things up there. And that's nice to know that it's optional, you can do a lot of things. But you don't really need that because you do have a storage here. And this is a lot of chests, actually. Okay, so that's the Chinese houses. But let's continue to the next house. And this house, I promise you, is way different. As you can see, it's a snow globe. I hope you can see that. I hope the structure is good enough so you can see that this, of course, is a snow globe. And there's a tree and it's some snow to surround it just to make the surroundings in theme. So, let's go inside because we have seen it all, haven't we? Yeah, it's simple. It's the same principle as you have seen before right now. This one naturally has a 2x1, actually a 3x1, but the pressure plate is taking up one of them. It has two furnaces and three barrels, and that's enough for a easy starter base. Not as easy as building a dirt house, but nothing is. Maybe I should make an example of dirt house sometime. But anyway, I think we are ready to see the next version of this house. Here it is. It is bigger, it has some different textures. I have done the mixture of snow, concrete powder, concrete and quartz. Only to make it a little bit more substantial in a way. On the side here I have some logs that I find kind of decorative next to the trees behind there. I think kind of gives the vibe because you need wood when you have a globe. You need to put fuel to the campfire and so on. So let's take a look inside. Inside here you have the campfire in the middle of course, a cauldron that you cook food in and some sleeping bags surrounding it. It's not regular beds. If you want to sleep for real, I will get back to it, all right? There are some hidden barrels, as it were just wood surrounding the campfire. I just thought it looked good uh, next to the campfire, so I placed it there. But if we are going downstairs here, we can sleep and we can store some more. Yeah, and some lightning. We gotta have that. Yeah. So it's possible. With that, let's go out and look at the bigger version of this. Biggest is always the best, isn't it? At least in this example it is. That's the thing with globes. They just get better the bigger. Here it is. The pathway with the snow layers are good looking together. I really like that. It has so many different levels to it, I wish they didn't melt. If they didn't melt, I would use them a lot more often. I would use it for everything, actually. At least everything that is white. And that's the snowman, don't you think he is cute? It's his arms, there, and a button. Every snowman has buttons, so that's a button. And that's his head. If you play Minecraft, you just gotta love that face. And this is a snow racer. You need to have that when you are living in a igloo. You kind of need to have that. And you also need to have skis, of course. Okay, but let's go inside. Here you have it. The bigger version. And this is the best one. I just gotta say it. 
you have the middle section and it also gives smoke through the cauldron and up through the hole and it's the storage i have a lot of barrels laying around casually and randomly but the great thing about this one compared to the other one is that this is big enough so the beds actually don't look too bad in here so you can sleep wherever you want you can sleep here you can sleep here you can have a slumber party with all of your friends yes you can and of course if you want to you can have a lot of secret entrances down to a stone of bedrock no i'm just kidding you can have whatever you want a huge storage system or you can have something else that no one else know about that's nice isn't it let's head out this is the last one for today. I have three new houses for the next time and I'm going to put it out soon. Alright, see you next time. Bye!